When you market candidates, which means that you're taking someone that is currently employed that is looking to make a move and you're contacting decision makers on that person's behalf. When you do that, I think it's good to do that whether the economy is good or bad because that does three things for you. First, it gives you immediate contact with decision makers about something that can solve their problem. You see, when you leave a message for a decision maker, there has to be a reason why they're going to call you back. One reason is a referral, if you have someone in common. If you leave a message that says, hey, my name's Harry the Happy Headhunter, and I want you to call me back because I want to sell you something, they're not going to call you back. There has to be a reason why someone who is busy that has competing time demands will choose to give you some of that time. There has to be something in it for them. And when you make a sales call, just to make a sales call, there's no value there. If you have value, then you've got my attention, is what the decision maker is thinking. So that's the first reason. It's a good way to get decision makers on the phone. The second reason you do this is that you can uncover other opportunities within that organization. And the third reason why you do this is that you might even make a placement. So this is what I'd recommend when you're marketing candidates. You want to find why should someone hire this candidate. You want to look at the candidate's resume and extract two things. First, quantifiable and measurable, measurable results. Real specific, tangible numbers. If I called you up and I say, hey, I've got this awesome candidate, terrific team leadership skills, just a great team player, great leader of people. That's, those are my opinions, right? My opinions are absolutely worthless because I've got this database of about 10,000 people and if you hire anybody from that database, from my database, I think they're fantastic because I get a fee. That's how your clients are looking at you. Your opinion doesn't count. If you think the candidate's exceptional, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what's provable. Numbers are provable. They're verifiable. The more specific you make them, the more believable they are. Specificity always builds credibility. So when you market a candidate, you want to look for the, for the candidate and find out three things. First, what are those quantifiable, measurable results? Secondly, what's different about this candidate compared to somebody else? And third, how will this candidate impact your client's organization? So when you take a search assignment, you know exactly why your client is looking to hire someone. What are those outcomes that the client's looking to accomplish? So when you recruit, you qualify candidates based on that criteria. So when you communicate, when you articulate the value of that candidate, you know why your client is looking to hire someone. You can communicate that message clearly. When you are presenting this candidate to the stranger, someone that you don't know, you don't know what their issues are, you just have this candidate. And you want to show the value of that candidate, you want to show specific measurable results. So for example, if I've got a candidate, I say he's a great team player, great people skills, an awesome leader, or if I say I have a candidate that's been in the industry for 17 years, 11 years with his current employer, where he's been advanced every year, his current title is this, he has a team of 37 people that he manages with 100% retention, three of those people have been promoted within the company, showing how good of a leader he is. In fact, his employer's largest client asked for him specifically by name to take the lead on all their projects, where he negotiated two projects with net profits of $500,000 on each over the next seven months for his employer. Okay, that's not my opinion anymore. It's something that's real specific and something that's believable. So when you have your candidate and you market them, you want to get those real clear results in your mind and highlight that and bring that out from the candidate. How do we get this information from the candidates? I mean, think about it like this. Who writes the candidate's resume? They do. We are all our own worst critics. We all have this problem of being able to really understand where our value is and then even being able to communicate that clearly to someone. So you need to ask that candidate questions that can draw that value out of that candidate. And here's one question you can ask every candidate from this day forward. If I presented you to my client, and let's just say that I presented them, you to them and they said, why should we hire this guy? What would be three things that you would want them to know? Tell me three reasons why they should hire you. And then when they give you each one of those reasons, boom, 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 I'm a good leader, I'm a good team player, and I'm a good negotiator. Specifically, what would be some things that I would observe in your performance where I would come to that conclusion that you're a good leader? Well, I grew the department from five people to 37 people in a three-year period. Aha. What else? I have zero turnover. Aha. I've got real specific quantifiable numbers. You draw that information out of the candidate. Now, when you present that to the client, you want to leave a message showing that specific value.